Inshallah, Haji Shahid, we can recite Surat al Taqweer, Taqweer, and that's from from 19 to 21, inshaAllah. Surah Taqweer is Surah 81 and alhamdulillah the holy month of Ramadan inshaAllah Fayatiya Allah Ti Rasulullah Amdameenkum and always a reminder for myself and abdikul ajeezu, da'eefu, miskeenu, zalim, jahal and but for the grace of Allah that we are in existence. And the ninth month, the month of power, the month of the power of the Divine Presence and the reality of nine times nine opening the secret of Surat al-Taqweer and its importance in guiding this creation, Qur'an guiding creation and what happens on this creation by power and izah of Holy Qur'an they're addressing this month inshaAllah. We pray that Allah address us from its realities and bless us from its realities in this miraj and the way of Shamsul Arifeen into the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad this heart of creation inshaAllah. Which ayat Sayyidi? 19, 20, 21. <coughs> 19, 20, 21, Surah 81. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ذي قوة مكين متاع ثم أمين وما صاحبكم بمجنون صدق الله العلي العظيم Surah Taqweer, its secrets for us. The seventh verse, Allah it's a surah describing judgment day, which everything is collapsing. As we draw near to the Divine, the Presence, dunya collapses within the heart of the believer and everything of their physicality and mulk is like a crushing. The philosophy of their crushing doesn't have to be a person physically obliterated but Allah within their heart and within their desires they're drawing nearer and nearer and nearer until the twelfth month into the kawthar. Ninth month is the month of annihilation, ninth month is the month of power. Nine represents the nukht in which Allah take the dunya mulk and form of the person and crush them. So that all that they've built up of their illusion this is his ni'mat and his favour. That I give you a favour that not your money can buy, not your actions can buy, not your salah can buy, nothing that you can do of amal can get this reality but just you fast for my sake and I'm going to dress you and bless you beyond imagination. What no eye has seen, no ears have heard, what Allah dress the servant but that dress like binary code it can't be given when the one of them, the existence of themselves, the eyeness of themselves is in existence. 
the Ainus when it is Ana, Ana, I'm, I am, when that exists then the Divinely Presence is distant. When Allah want to complete His favour then this is the month in which Allah reduces the one and that's why the fasting has such an immense reality because it's so hard on the nafs in areas where they are really hungry Allah grant them immense reward. In the west nobody's hungry, the only reason Ramadan is hard for them is because their nafs is so angry that you're putting a rule on me, a restriction on me, a limitation on me. Because you don't see anybody from starving hunger, they're a little bit hungry, they drink at the time of iftar, they put a couple dates, they're ready to go. But what was so hard throughout the day and, and, and the nafs puts a sickness on the person so they won't fast, puts their, their blood pressure to drop so they won't fast, make them to just pass out to be unconscious, lethargic, they can't move because he's saying, I'm not going to do it and Allah just showing, do you see how strong that being is? This month if you follow and obey me, I'm going to crush it and bring it down. But in exchange whatever goes down something must be coming up, whatever Allah's closing must be opening because it has to have the, the rule of, of opposite. So in this month of immense light Allah bring down the dunya and the mulk of the servant and open for them his malakut. And taqweer is describing the destruction when this goes, when this goes, when this goes and the seventh ayah is a secret now that when all of that goes from the servant and when the souls are paired, zuwijat, when their nafs and the, the nafs meets its zawj, its pair. When the nafs meets its reality because only a small portion of your light is sent into your body. Don't think that Allah took the trust and the reality of the soul that He has in Divinely Presence, gave it all packaged to you, put it into your body to go out into this world and to destroy it. It's like giving all your wealth to the pocket of your child and say, please go to school, come back and bring it for me. In the middle of lunchtime they will have traded it away. So Allah is not sending, He's sending just a small light and your real zawj, your real mate, your real understanding, your real soul, your soulmate in heaven, this is the month in which Allah want to introduce you to yourself. And only by siyam He can obliterate the physicality. Only with Siyam Allah can bring the mulk of that person, the identity of that person and bring them down to introduce them, introduce them to themselves. The shaykh is merely a guide, a teacher, a facilitator, one whom uplift the student with whatever Allah has dressed upon him and linked him into this chain like an elevator, he takes the student into the elevator and the chain will begin to uplift that reality of the student into these oceans and these realities. That's why Allah we described in other surahs. This is the only way to reach their ahad, istiqamu fi tariqat, keep firm onto your path. For if you should lose your path you will lose the dhikr of Allah Very few people leave their path and then continue to do zikr by themselves. This way and this reality is to reach your identity, your ahad and your covenant with Allah In Ramadan Allah begin to destroy and return you to the purified self. The, the innocent child in which that mulk is destroyed and when the souls are paired. From Allah then describing that when they pair with their reality and you 
see the reality of yourself and your soul in that Divinely Presence, that soul is in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad in the ocean of Muhammadun Rasulullah And then what Allah is describing that when you meet yourself and you understand that yourself is in the ocean of Muhammadun Rasulullah the Sultanat, the king, the owner of a Divine Throne in which Allah is describing a majestic throne. All the descriptions of a Divine Throne Allah is never going to be seated upon a chair. The throne is, a, is an authority and a power that Allah describing that the one who sits on this chair has been in, in endued or given an immense power and authority. Because now that your soul will be dressed in Ramadan, will be witnessing its realities. Now whether you train so that you can see it, alhamdulillah and you begin to feel the immensity of power, the immensity of, of, of the zikr, the immensity of the salah, the immensity of, of taraweeh qiyam al-layl. Taraweeh for awliya and all their students with qiyam al-layl, all their nights should be in zikr and praying and worshipness and in daytime working hard. But for the nation Allah brought them to Ramadan and made them to have qiyam al-layl for 30 days. So it means all the izz and might of Salatul Tahajjud when Allah draws near to the servant, Allah's power draws near to the servant. Then Allah giving for us an understanding, indeed the Qur'an is a word conveyed by a noble messenger. Because this heart that we've travelled into, this reality that manzil of Qur'an in which Allah's Divine speech is flowing. In Surah al Yaseen Allah describes, my amr and my irada are manifesting from this reality of the heart of Sayyidina Yaseen Means Allah's will and Allah's amr and orders are emanating from this holy heart, from this location, its power is Holy Qur'an. Then Allah describes Sayyidina Muhammad that his He's one whom has an immense power, an owner of a throne, owner of the throne. Una arsh al makin. There's no description of Allah because the next verse described that He's obeyed there in the heavens and He is trustworthy. There's no description of Allah. This is a description of Sayyidina Muhammad. Arsh al makin. And one whom is trustworthy, one whom is obeyed in the heavens means that when Ramadan comes it's a month in which to bring the servant to its nothingness. When the servant is in a state of nothing the one will appear. All their months they are one and the nuqt is hidden from them. Ramadan is a time in which Allah will bring your one and bring it down. As a result of the one coming down, the real one will begin to appear. And Allah for the arafeen and those whom are muhibeen and learning from them is clarifying, don't think you're going to see me but you're going to see the one whom is endowed with power. One whom is obeyed because of that power, one whom sits on a throne of authority. I am taking you to witness the Sultanat of Sayyidina Muhammad So this is an immense month, this is an immense majestic month and that's why the dhikr of this month. Then we go to the app, these are all the tools for the believer. We say the app is teaching Ramadan the ninth month and 81, the name of Allah Al-Muntaqeem, Al-Muntaqeem. 
Why? Because he is the avenger of his servant. How, how you going to go to Allah when shaitan has been playing with you and making you to be dirty, making you to be filled with sins? Only Sifat al Muntaqeem will avenge Allah's creation. The Ya Rabbi, shaitan has destroyed me. Shaitan has made all my amal to be of no value. That's why in Qasida Burda we say the Muntaqeem, the Sifat al Muntaqeem has to come and they're asking, asking Ya Sayyidi Ya Rasul Kareem that al Muntaqeem to come and to avenge me. Like a fire, like a shihab that Allah begin to hit the shaitans. That's why in the holy month of Ramadan they say that shaitans are chained up. What shaitan is chained up? What does that mean? You don't see that the kuffar are the ones killing Muslims in Ramadan because they think they fasted, they're weak. What does that mean? Shaitans are chained up. No, your shaitan is chained up, not theirs because Allah didn't give them that barakah. Their shaitans are fully all over them because they didn't accept the deen of Islam. So whose shaitan Allah is chained up in Ramadan? Yours as soon as you make intention, I want to fast Ya Rabbi for you. Then Allah said, I'm going to then send my sifat al-muntaqeem all around you. And that muntaqeem will burn and destroy every devil. That's why the night before Ramadan everybody's crazy, yelling, screaming, all sorts of emails of people aggressive because their devils know, in the next few hours, here we go. This is the, the month in which Allah going to burn us the entire 30 days. And as a result so many difficulties before the, the nights before Ramadan, couple nights before Ramadan. So when this hadith of Prophet describing the devils are chained because Sifat al-Muntaqeem is guarding the servant. That Allah bombarding, bombarding that the shaitans are obliterated. The shaitan outside the servant and the shaitan inside is fleeing. From as soon as he enters into a fast, Prophet described the shaitan is moving through the blood, the blood is now restricted and being cleansed. So at every aspect, inner and outer Allah's fire is burning devils so that to return the servant to a state of grace and beauty, beautific rahmah. Then what is the name of Sayyidina Muhammad The state of Sayyidina Zul Fadl, Sayyidina Zul Fadl because he brings the servant back to their state of grace. When Allah burn away the devil, Allah's rahmah comes with the soul of Sayyidina Muhammad Each name of Sayyidina Muhammad plays a role for Allah in the perfection of our reality. The one whom is the possessor of Divinely grace that feels the servant. When we say, Ya Rasul Kareem we have no understanding what that ocean of generosity is. That Allah for the love of Sayyidina Muhammad so I'm going to wash their sins away, I'm going to burn the devils that have attached themselves to the servant. Now you approach them with your fadl and your fayiz and your love and your rahmah and fill them with rahmah and that's why the first 10 days is a bab rahmah because Allah muntaqeem is burning the devils that they can enter into these gates of rahmah and mercy means they enter into the lights, into the ocean in the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad We pray that Allah dress us and bless us with the immensity of that understanding, the immensity of Ramadan. And that's why it's the month in which to do every good. 
to do as much good as possible. We don't even understand how much lights Allah dressing us in this month. When our devils are not affecting us, not holding us, not making us to be scared, it's the month of generosity. That's why most people pay their zakah in Ramadan because the immensity of the blessing that coming upon the servant is unknown. When Allah says that no Prophet knows, no angel knows what I'm bestowing upon my servant and that servant is in a state of siyam, imagine then when they're giving in that state what type of multiplier is applied to that servant when Allah is dressing them, blessing them, perfecting their lights upon them. Means it's the month in which to do good deeds, good charities, go out and give food, to, to be of service, whatever we can think this is the month in which Allah completes and dresses His ni'mat upon the servant. We pray that Allah complete His favours upon us and that the time is very near for the arrival of Sayyidina Mahdi salam and that good character, muhabbat and ishq is to be number one within the heart of the servant. The good manners and good character, we pray that Allah dress us from these favours, bless us with these favours and give us a life in which to see the arrival of Sayyidina Mahdi and the family, the holy companions, all of their ruhaniyat and all their lights to be dressing upon us, blessing upon us and that Allah's ni'mah to be completed upon us inshaAllah. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzat amma yatifoon. Wa salaamun al mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al Fatiha. The dhikr of this month, Subhana man taqara bil qudrati wal baqa. Subhana man taqara bil qudrati wal baqa. Every moment we are saying that in our hearts that this is the month in which the Ramadan power from Al Arsh al Makin, the authorized immense. Authority to be dressing us, Subhanahu man taqara bil qudrati wal baqa. Glory be to Him who draws near to His omnipotence and immortality. That that ocean of eternity, the oceans of power that begin to dress from the oceans of a hayat upon the soul. We pray that Allah dress us from these lights, bless us from these lights, inshaAllah, and grant our soul to feel those oceans and those realities inshaAllah. Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. Click the link now to subscribe.